SEO might be the most underrated growth tactic that developers always miss when they're building a product. Let's say I'm building a book selling website um, and I made a brand new landing page. And let's say it says best books in town delivered to your home in under 10 hours, right? That's a great value prop. Get, but guess what? Your searchers, the user, they're actually not searching for this um, in Google search. What they're searching for is something like top books in marketing or best uh, fiction books for teen in 2021 or 2022. Um, that This is what they're searching. So if they're searching this, they will never come onto your website for selling books and you will never make revenue. What you basically have to do is what kind of Forbes did here is, you know, top books on raising capital. Uh, they have a list. Uh, th this is basically a blog post listing different books. What they can do here, the, the call to action is read now, but you can imagine if you're like a bulk selling website, you can have buy now, where if someone clicks on this button, they like the book, uh, book enough, they can go on the checkout screen, buy it from your website, right? Um, but the idea is if they never come onto this page, they never get to go to the checkout page and you, you, you don't want to make any revenue. But how do we do this? This is, uh, do we then now, if, if we want to go this approach, do we create these lists by hand manually the same way I think Forbes is? Um, no, we, we actually have something better that we can do. Next.js. So Next.js allows you to create um, a statically site generation, right? So what they can do is you can give it dynamic data and you can give it Next.js views and it will spit out individual HTML views uh, for your dynamic data. So what I mean is exactly this. There's some dynamic data that you have. You provide it to your Next.js application. And when you do next export or you export out your application or you build your application, it will generate these individual HTML pages. Uh, and these pages can be these lists. So uh, where Forbes is generating these, like doing by hand one at a time, you can generate it. 10, 20, 100 lists at a time by just updating your dynamic data. By the way, these HTML pages actually can have their personal or their own local SEO uh, elements in there as well. Things like, you know, alt for images, dynamic alt uh, or OG um, image URLs and, and whatnot. So that will, that will mean each one of these pages are seen by Google and they can get ranked individually which is massive. If one of these pages gets to number one, the amount of data or the amount of traffic flowing to your website increases like tenfold. Um, 